This review was possible thanks to publisher Quantum Astrophysicist Guild, who provided the code. In a world where humans have abandoned Earth, it's up to a team of others to try and explore new places in the galaxy to save the animal kind. Space Other Charlie brings this fun story with puzzle platforming around zero G, but is it worth playing? Let's find out. You are Charlie, an order that was part of a third group of furry astronauts tasked with reaching other space and find a new home after the planet was abandoned by humans due to climate change. Upon arriving at space, some issues arise that prompt Charlie and his team to explore abandoned space stations and look for a new home. All this is presented to you as small comic-like cutscenes and funny dialogue text while you are traversing through levels and on your ship, or in collectible files you can find around. You get over 10 levels to explore given that you find the necessary collectible associated to unlock some of them, however these are not that hard to find and some may feel too easy like when they give you a map right at the start of the level. As a matter of fact, it's a very easy game to earn a platinum if you are on PlayStation or a thousand gamer score if you are on Xbox, only taking a little over 7 hours to earn all of them. As Charlie you need to explore several areas that have puzzle-like approaches to solving them, like pushing boxes, finding different keys and even using some of your weapons and skills to move through after you have upgraded them. There are a good number of weapons to find and upgrade that even take a part in solving some of these areas, however its progression may have felt more rewarding with a little backtracking. Instead, it feels more linear experience despite having optional area. Some of these areas end in boss fights that are nice enough to keep the fun going, but are not exactly the highlight of the experience. Platforming was a little rough at the beginning since you can only travel using your jetpack and even though you get used to it still manage to feel a little harder when precision platforming is required. Fortunately not all levels are designed around this situation, but a couple of areas do require being more precise. There's also another mechanic for sliding over walls so that you can move faster and avoid obstacles, but it feels underutilized. Besides single player you can fight against up to 3 friends in 2 local multiplayer modes. So Urchin has you battling over who catches the most food while Fury Fury is your regular deathmatch. This includes a few customizable options for number of points to win, time and so on. Despite feeling like a nice to have, it's also a head scratcher as the time put into these modes probably could have added more to a single player instead. It may be fun for a couple of matches with friends or if you have kids, but probably not more than that. Overall I had fun playing Space Other Charlie and exploring each level. Solving its puzzles is not particularly challenging but feels rewarding enough to check every corner of the map as you improve your arsenal and have a chuckle at the funny story and dialogue exchanges. There are a couple of odd design choices like including a multiplayer mode but nothing that takes away from the fun I had in single player. If you enjoyed this review and want to check the game in action, check out my previous Let's Play video. And why not check out some of my other indie highlights as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this has been a Hype for Games review, and let's get hyped!